the tragic death of Mahsa Amini, a young Iranian girl, has broken the hearts of not only our government, our government, but also the people of my country. We regret the incident and hope to never have to witness such a heartbreaking loss again. A thorough investigation was carried out to determine the circumstances that led to this tragic death. So far, the findings of two preliminary investigations have been shared with member states and UN-affiliated organizations. Iranian women are smart, well-educated, dedicated, and patriotic, and are aware of their rights. They also understand how to engage with the government in a peaceful and constructive manner in order to advance their rights. Therefore, we advise those Western states that they are not required to act as guardians or caretakers of Iranian women or speak on their behalf. To Her Excellency Ms. Linda Thomas-Greenfield, permanent representative of the United States. Women and girls are under threat from conflict and repressive regimes, under threat from climate, and under threat from poverty. The eyes of the entire world are on Iran right now. Courageous and brave Iranians from across society, women and men, are protesting the death of Masa Amiri. They are protesting the fact that she was killed by the Iranian morality police for the crime of being a woman. Representative Jordan, and give the floor to the representative of Germany. Germany is very concerned about the large-scale pushback against the gains in women's rights, including sexual and reproductive health and rights. The current issue of particular concern to Germany is the ongoing crackdown on women's rights in Iran. We must reverse all these trends and fully take advantage of the potential that lies in greater participation from all genders and from marginalized groups. I now give the floor to the representative of Ukraine. Ukraine has become the first UN member state to adopt a national action plan under conditions of war. The second NAV will be updated soon, reflecting the consequences of the Russian aggression as Russian forces in Ukraine have actively targeted women. Rapes and sexual assaults attributed to Moscow's forces in Ukraine are part of a Russian military strategy. Thus, Ukraine has partnered with the UN to prevent and respond to all forms of gender-based violence, including sexual, to ensure meaningful justice through accountability of the perpetrators. And I now give the floor to Ms. Sima Sami Bahus. Around the world, from Iran to Tigray to Ukraine to Afghanistan and more, women human rights defenders risk their lives every day in the name of peace and human rights and for the sake of their communities and our planet. They should be cherished by everyone, but instead they are increasingly under attack. Yet despite decades of evidence that gender equality offers a path to sustainable peace and conflict prevention, we are moving in the opposite direction. At this time of peril, conflicts and crises, we must pursue proven strategies for peace and stability. Protecting women's rights and promoting women's inclusion is such a strategy.